Hi guys, It Girl Friday here with another beauty box reveal and review. Only this time our beauty box is actually a beauty bag. Yay! An Ipsy glam bag to be exact. If you've been following me at all, you know that my last three reveal and reviews have been from Birchbox, but my next three in the series are going to be Ipsy glam bags. So before we get started with this review, I'm gonna get real with you and give you my current thoughts on the Ipsy bag. Unlike Birchbox, Ipsy doesn't come with a piece of paper that gives you a description of each product, how to use the products, and the price of a full-size version. Just know ahead of time that if you are planning on getting the Ipsy bag, you do have to do all the research yourself. This, to me, is very inconvenient. Nobody likes to be inconvenienced. I've got sh** too. Can I get an amen? On top of that, the Ipsy website doesn't always sell the products they send you. Like, really? Really? So that, to me, is mind-blowing. Uh, right now already, I prefer Birchbox over the Ipsy bag. But they did send me some awesome products, so let's get down to the reveal and review. One of the fun things about Ipsy is that their bags come in this super cute packaging. I mean, it's so much fun. Call me basic, but the only thing I love more than Starbucks and yoga pants is the color pink. Yes! Now one point that Ipsy has over Birchbox is that all of their beauty products come in these super cute bags. Uh, each month the bags are different and they're of really good quality so you can use them on a day to day basis whether you use them as a clutch uh, to go out or you use them to store your makeup products. So really cool. So without any further ado, let's dive into these reviews. First product in the bag was City Colors Glow Duo Cream Powder. Cream powder? What does that even mean? Is it a cream? Is it a powder? JK, one side's a cream and one side's a powder. I actually really like this product, which is surprising to me because a full-size version of this is only $6. $6? This is an awesome contouring duo. I would recommend it absolutely to anyone on a budget. I'm actually wearing both of them right now, and I use them to contour my face and to contour my schnoz, which is actually a pretty big schnoz. I'm Italian, what do you want from me? So yes, the City Color Glow Duo, five stars, great price. If you're into contouring, definitely go get it. All right, second product. GlossierRoseBalm.com Universal Skin Solve. The full size version of this is $12. This is a very thick skin solve. Um, I personally don't like the way it feels on my lips. It feels a bit sticky, not really that pleasant feeling, but it's in a pretty pink tube. And you know how I feel about the color pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it three stars. So here's a fun one. Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. Sex Kitten. Apparently you put this stuff on and BAM! Sexy eyeliner will make you turn into sexy sex kitten. Apparently it turns you into a Russian sex kitten. If that's what that accent was, I don't know. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. Uh... I like it, it goes on smoothly. I give this thing five stars, except it's $20 for the full size version and I don't know if it's worth $20. So now I'm only giving it four stars. Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner, buy this product and turn into a sex kitten. Just kidding, don't sue me for false advertisement. You won't turn into a sex kitten. Or will you? Okay, next product. Contour Cosmetics Lip Liner in the color Juju. What exactly is Juju, you ask? I know what you're thinking, but no, it's not a candy. Or a set of Hasidic twins. Apparently, Juju means nude. Oh, look, I've got some sex kitten on me. Whoops, do I love it? Meh, it's I. Search the internet, I could not find how much it is for the lip liner alone. They do sell it in a pack with the lip liner and a lipstick uh, for 22 euros. It goes on a little dry, it rubs off kind of easily. That's what she said, boom! <laughs> oh, I'm so immature. I give it three stars. It is fairly pigmented though, this is it. <laughs> next to the sex kitten eyeliner. So buy it if you want to, whatever, it's your life. And on to our last product review, BRTC Jasmine Waterfall Foaming Cleanser. That's waterfall, not to be confused with waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. This is actually a pretty decent cleanser. It goes on thick and creamy. <laughs> I give up. Everything's a sexual innuendo today. <sighs> I don't think it's the best at removing makeup, but it is good at keeping your face hydrated. So if you're trying to remove a lot of makeup, I would suggest a different cleanser. But as far as if you already have a fairly makeupless face and you just want to remove impurities, this is great because uh, it doesn't dry out your skin. $23 for the full size. Actually, it's $22.99, but 
Come on, we know what that means. I'll give it three stars. And that concludes my beauty bag reveal and review. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed my pink morning cup of coffee, which has raspberry honey in it, by the way, because I'm bougie as boop. This is It Girl Friday, signing out. Peace. Is this something I went out and bought to use as a prop? Don't go chasing my phone. Or did I already have it lying around my bedroom? Guess you'll never know.